So I just made it up to Ludington, Michigan, and I'm just gonna give you a quick view of what it looks like stepping out of the car. That's Lake Michigan. Right now we're heading down to the Legacy Plaza. There is live music and there is a farmer's market that runs till 7 p.m. I will follow up with more information about it. Let's keep going, I gotta ride this bike. currently at the Legacy Plaza and on Thursdays and Fridays from 4 to 7 p.m. they do have live music from May 26th to the 23rd. This is brand new. I think it was built last year or the year prior and there's live music behind me and it's just absolutely gorgeous because it's all brand new. I'll insert a clip right here of their directory that they had. It's touchable so you can touch it. I will show that. That's really cool so you can see the directory of shops downtown and everything like that and then there are stores lining the little plaza which are really cool this is the legacy plaza and it was absolutely great Just wanted to come on here since we're done with dinner. We went to the Mitten Bar in downtown Ludington. There was a buffalo chicken wrap, which was delicious. I had a couple bites of it, and then we had a bacon cheeseburger to split. She just got sweet potato fries, and then I got onion rings with ranch, and then chipotle ranch. So before, for an appetizer, we split some cheesy bread, which was really good. It was on a thin crust. Now I'm on the beach, I'm out of breath. I just walked down the hill, and gonna enjoy the sunset. in the sunset. Good morning everyone. It is Saturday and I'm going to the Red Rooster Coffee in Lennington, Michigan. I'll show you it right now. So I just got a medium roast coffee which is hot as heck. And then I got some yogurt with granola on it right here. And I'm gonna eat a little bit, then I'm gonna film a little bit. Stearns Beach is Ludington's largest beach and it has over 2,500 feet of shoreline and it's absolutely gorgeous they have a plethora and plenty of parking as you just saw they also offer free wi-fi which is i think is crazy especially how big the area is how good is that wi-fi stern beach also features the north breakwater light tower which is about a half mile walk out to go see it and you know you they have tours you can walk in it i think and i want to walk out there and just see it So we're at the Cartier Park Pathway. I'm gonna be mountain biking for the first time and I'm not wearing the right gear or have the right tires, but here we go. Breakwater Lighthouse and it is open May 27th through September 5th and it's Tuesday through Sunday 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. and closed on Mondays. The North Breakwater Light Tower is now ranked the number one lighthouse to visit in Michigan. 
The first Luddington light was created in 1871 and then replaced by the current structure you're looking at in 1923. And while I climbed the lighthouse, it was very interesting that this gentleman in front of me had a lighthouse passport where you can get stamps everywhere you go. Just leaving the North Breakwater Light Tower. Just went to the top. It actually leans three degrees north. So, fun fact. So I want to talk about some of my favorite spots in Ludington. First we have the House of Flavors, which if you haven't had their ice cream, go get it. And then we have Blue Moon, which they have an amazing rooftop bar, like Tiki vibes. Then we have the Sandbar, which I'm not going to say I sang karaoke there one night, but I did. And then the next place that I went the last time I was here is James Port Brewery. It is really good, nice food, nice environment. So I have my backpack ready, my drone ready. I'm going to the state park with Chase back there and his cousin and his girlfriend. And we're gonna be hiking two miles to uh, Big Sable. I could. <laughs> if we can catch a bird really quick, we could detach it to it. The Big Sable Lighthouse stands 112 feet tall in Ludington State Park, proudly on the shores of Lake Michigan. Getting to the Big Sable Lighthouse, you need to go through the state park, and then you need to hike about two miles to the lighthouse. In the early 1900s, Big Sable started deteriorating pretty bad, so they covered the lighthouse with these metal plates that give it its black and white look today. In 1949, Big Sable became the last Great Lakes Lighthouse to be electrified. This is the largest state park along Lake Michigan and one of the largest in the Lower Peninsula. This state park has over 5,300 acres in Mason County and includes 5.5 miles of Great Lake shoreline. <laughs> 